Hi folks. Most families have certain things they do together. Some go camping, fishing, play board games, or video games. This family we are looking at today is slightly different. Their hobby is getting arrested. They have all the sovereign citizen lingo memorized, and it works for them just as well as it works for all other sovcits. But like true warriors, they don't let failure deter them. One day, maybe their magic words will prevail. Let me set the scene for this first clip. Imagine it's your son's fourth birthday, and you're out for the day to celebrate. You get stopped by police, and since you're an idiot sobsit, you don't have license or insurance or registration. The cop decides to cut you a break and simply give you a ticket, but not arrest you or tow your car. What do you do next? Let's roll the stupid. Let's the conversation be recorded, okay? Yes, it is being recorded. Great. The reason I'm stopping you is not aware, but your license is suspended. Okay. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? I, uh... Proof of insurance on you? I'm not in commerce, so I therefore don't need a driver's license. You're not in what? Commerce. Okay. Excellent start. Straight away they get into the rhetoric. Who knows? Maybe it'll work this time. Well, you're on a public roadway within the state of Oregon. Okay, you need a driver's license. Yep. Can you show me the law? The uh, law for no valid operator's license? I believe it's 806012. Um, or I can check that out. It might be 806010, but I can check that for you. Can okay. you show me the law? Uh, driving while spin is A11175. But I need to see your license registration. Do you understand here. that? Here in Oregon and everywhere else, if you're not in commerce, you're not required to have a driver's license. It's nope. also under ORS. The Department of Motor Vehicles only issues Where's, commercial driver's license. I don't have that on us. It's titling, optional, titling, okay, I'm not gonna registration, and driver's okay, I'm license. I'm asking for your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. Are you going to present that to me or not? I can't do that. You're not going to present that to me. That would be fraud. I can't do that. That would be. I, oh, they only offer commercial driver's licenses, and I'm not in a commercial pack capacity. You should actually look up the Motor Vehicle Act. Clear one more time. You're not willing to present me with a driver's license. Right. Okay. I'll be right back. Not free to go. I'm being detained. On what grounds am I being detained? On my grounds. On your grounds, I, I'm being detained. What grounds am I being detained? Some citations. You're not free to go. But on what grounds am I being detained? So he's refusing. Does anyone else find it hilarious that these people have such a lack of self-awareness that they filmed their ATM pin and put it on YouTube? I'm sorry, babe. I should have been driving. It is 607 on 95 2013, my son's birthday. We have Officer Pitcher pulling us over. We've been recording the whole incident so far with a video camera, but I'm just recording on our audio as well because he's writing my wife, Laura, a citation for failure to carry an operator's license. Knowing full well that this is a crime he's committing, we just informed him that she is not in commerce. Therefore, she does not need a driver's license, registration, or insurance. But he's continuing to harass like these city police have been. This is a violation of Title 18, 241 and 242. Babe, stop with the titles. We don't give a fuck about titles. But we know. They don't pertain to us. It's just a violation of our unalienable rights. What the hell is an unalienable right? Exactly. Those those titles and stuff, they don't pertain to us. It's It only pertains to if another public body wants to go after this public body. But they're violating their code. That's mm -hmm. what it is. And they're doing it against our rights, which is what is 241 and 242 of Title 18. Conspiracy to 
uh, it's conspiracy against the rights and defraud defrauding your rights. Up to this point, these two have not really been making good decisions. But here's where they decide to double down on dumb and turn a bad situation into a terrible situation. I feel like we should just go. If you want to, you can. He might chase us and draw a gun on us. I should tell him to hurry up though, huh? Do you mind if I told him? To hurry up? Mm-hmm. Well, the, the problem that I have is kind of like the way that you talk is not... It just seems kind of really intense, which it kind of is with on both parts, on me and you. But we're just so tired of it. Well, I just want them to understand. And coming for me, he can't take it against you. Eight minutes so far we've been sitting here for him to write a citation, a contract. I just want to roll down my window and be like, excuse me. I can't even roll my window down now. Let me do it. Mr. Pitcher! Can we hurry this along, please? I have to go. Did that sound rude? No. No, this is what's rude. Getting, having him sit, us uh, sit here for this long. You know, pulling this over in the first place. Okay. I should take that and step out and be like, excuse me, but. No, don't leave your vessel. Here he comes. He wa he's walking up with his hand on his gun. Why? Okay, Ms. Weaver, we need to citation for driving while suspended in violation, driving uninsured, failure to carry the vehicle registration. Your court date is 9-23-2013 at 8.30 a.m. at 225 West Dollar Street in Newport, Oregon, Lincoln County Courthouse. Okay, these are all violations. They're not mandatory appearances. You appear by mail at the address right there. There's four options the back to the way to take care of it. Okay, any questions about your citation? No questions. Do you have a business card? Jeremy, don't do that. What's that? Do you have a business card? Uh, I'm sure I do. Would you like one? Yeah. Okay. Do you carry any bond? Bond? Do you? I've had this discussion with you numerous times. I don't know what you mean by bonds. I don't know any of that. Well, you have to have about. bond or limited or liability or insurance. Or laws. Okay. So there's that. Uh, I'm not going to tow your vehicle, but you're not okay to drive away from here. Okay. If you drive away from here, you're going to be subject to more citations in the vehicle tow. Really? Yeah. Don't say anything. Just Okay, so you got to get somebody with a license down here to drive. Okay? There's that for you. Are you going to take it? Nope. Okay. So he's telling us we cannot drive. We're not driving, we're traveling. Exactly. And he's gonna wait for us to go to travel and he's probably gonna pull us over again. 
And of course, he's probably got backup somewhere. So right here, he tells us that he understands that he cannot drive that vehicle away. And he understands what will happen if he does. Let's watch him make a series of poor decisions. Do you want me to drive? No. Should I just make a dash home and get in the Durango? Sure. That sounds like a solid foolproof plan. What could go wrong? Or just... If they try to tow our vehicle with our kids in the truck, in the rain with no sweaters, do you want to do it? I'll do it. You promise that you won't put the car in park or anything like that? Like what do you mean in park? What did he say? Should I stop this? No, keep that recording the whole time as long as it'll record. What did he say about if we need somebody with a license? Yeah, to come down here and drive it. I should be the one that just goes. Why? Oh, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? I don't have any brakes on or anything. It just seems like it won't. Okay. Yeah, he's like waiting right down there. But I'm just gonna go home, okay? Which way you want to go? Straight. He's right there. He's going to pull, us, pull out anyways. Uh-huh. So at least if I get home, if, he, if they try to arrest me, then... Just put it somewhere safe. Yeah, You understand they're probably going to try to arrest me? Don't sign anything. Alright. Sorry, Bobby. When we get out, um, keep the keys in, I'll lock the door. Okay. What do you want, this? Yeah. Tell him your son had to poop. Hey ma'am, my back. son has to take a crap. Okay. Put your hands back. Hey, everyone, put your hands are you, your back. Are you detaining me? Yes, do you I understand am. this is a deprivation of my life? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. And do you also understand? Turn around, uh, put your hands behind your back.
The no trespassing oh. sign right there, one six four two six five. You don't understand. Will you give her my wallet and stuff? You have a serious deprivation of rights problem, man. You're violating Title 18, 241 and 242. My son had to poop. Why are you doing yeah. this? Yeah, the right to me, it was raining. My kids are safe. in the car. It's my son's and birthday we'll picture. Be against you hey, law. hey, you will I take the stuff just, out of my... You will take my picture. stuff out and give it to my I wife. Will. On my terms. Hey, dude. Yes, dude. Picture. Our son had to poop. The old my son has to poop defense. Classic. This is inhumane. This is inhumane, man. What do you, how do you think this is even like justified, man? You think this is justified, man? I don't stand under. My four-year-old son has to take a crap. It is his birthday today. Okay. You had a sit Why there are you five doing minutes. I suggest if, you're, if your son needs to use the bathroom, you go ahead and let him use the bathroom. Uh, but why are you doing this? Man, if your son needs to use the bathroom... You're taking his, his father on his birthday. The cop isn't the one responsible for this arrest. The driver said before he drove the car away that he understood he'd be arrested. He is the one responsible for him going to jail on his son's birthday. And if the boy has to go to the bathroom so bad, why isn't Fatty McGee taking him inside to go to the bathroom? Why are you yeah, doing this, pitcher? They don't actually fit right at all because it's inhumane, man. Okay. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. And I am gonna. Oh, how about you put that on your car? That's not your car. This That's taxpayers' here. money. Well, you get you get paid by the taxpayers. You get paid by the city, which is paid by the taxpayers. You're a private contractor, man. And you understand you're supposed to be carrying a bond. You're supposed to be bonded and insured. You don't stand under much. Honey, my money's in here too. She needs my money real quick. It's in my left back pocket. Everything in my pocket she needs. Yeah, it's not gonna of course. Everything in my pocket needs to go to her. You really? I don't want you guys to You're gonna get my, your money. My money what? No. I'm gonna count it right here. She has a video camera. You don't need to count it. You could just hand no, it to her. Right here. And okay. mine's right there. 20, 30, Are you serious, man? $32 right there. Do you know this is slander as well? Public humiliation? Five, unlawful search 10, and seizure. Unlawful search and 11, seizure. 12, Unjustified, 13, man. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. On my son's birthday, dude. Why didn't you stop? Dude, you know why. we have the right to travel. $3. Under commerce, you we need a driver's drive. license, registration, and insurance. We're traveling 35. under our natural I right. A, I cut you guys a break. I didn't tell your vehicle. This is what you did. Are you our serious, son dude? has to poop. Do you, under, do you have kids, man? See, that's why you don't understand, this, dude. This isn't all of the money, is it? Where's no, the rest of the money? No, everything in my pocket, dude, I said. Everything. Oh my fucking god. Right here. Just walk in. Hold on, baby. Just walk her. My, my son needs to... Alright. Here, there's not back for you. 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 410, 430. Notice the principals, notice the agent. Remember to ask for the bond and discharge it. Accept it for value. They must have really enjoyed that because they do it again and again.
Hi, good morning. Hi. Laura. Laura Weaver, right? What is this about? This is about a warrant you have, Laura, at the Flum Police Department. And who are you? I'm Chief Elwes Grant Mosier. You're under arrest. I have a warrant for your arrest at a Flum Municipal Court. All right. Let's, let's go. Mosier. Laura, right, let's go. Is there anybody else in the house that you are concerned about taking care of, such as kids? Yeah. Would you like some shoes? I'm just going to put... No, I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I'm going to cover it. Just let you know, ma'am, you're being recorded. Ma'am, you're under arrest. So we need to take care of you. Perhaps if they didn't spend so much time in jail, they could do something about that lawn. It looks like Eisenhower was president last time it was mowed. Let's watch more stupid. Hi there. Sergeant Rourke. Yep. It's Officer Schauber. Okay. Officer Schauber. You two uh, both have warrants for your arrest. So, no, ma'am. Hey. I'm going to go back in the residence. No, you have a warrant for your arrest, okay? And uh, I'll show them to you, all right? These are teletype copies of the warrants for your arrest. That's okay. not a legal warrant. Yeah, this is a legal warrant. Just this so you know, document. it doesn't have a okay. signature by a judge on this is, it. This is so a, that's legal not a legal document. Okay. So, um, you have somebody here to take care of your child? Because you both have warrants for your arrest. This is the third arrest we've seen. How are these two allowed to have small children? It's clear they cannot even care for themselves. You do? Well, I want names, bonds. Yeah, do you have bonds well, on I'm your to, as well? I'm trying to work with you guys to try to do that. And That's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? We're I, I don't want to leave your child or anything like that. I want to make sure you have somebody to take care of your kid. Okay, so I'm just trying to work with you to make sure there's somebody here to take care of your child. And we need to make sure that you have bonds. And that you're, no you have the jurisdiction. Okay, I do you, have if, the jurisdiction. Do you guys have warrants for your arrest? Okay, so. but if you don't okay. have a bond, then you have no acting jurisdiction to, okay. on, especially on my ah! property, which okay. it's posted. Well, you need to step out here, sir. Okay. Okay. All right, and you need to step out here, ma'am. I need to make sure that you have bonds or you okay, have Okay, you need to, to step out here, ma'am. And you also I'm not gonna have go. to go. You're going have... to be under arrest. You are under arrest, okay? You, I you, don't You consent. are under arrest and you're under arrest, so step out there we, with that officer, we please. We don't consent. I understand you don't consent, do but you consent. are under arrest. You... We have two warrants for your arrest. You, you have one have out of Newburgh to... and one out of the city of Philomath. You have to provide okay. bonds. If my mother okay. allows, of course. Okay, so this I'm placing right here. Okay. And you do have no jurisdiction because you don't have I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. I need you to step down there. No, you're not going to go in the house. No, she's I'm not. not going in the house, okay. but I have every right to talk to my mother. I understand, ma'am. I understand, but her. you're not going to go back in the house. I am not going back in the house. Okay. But I need you to no, step I'm down there. No, I'm not going to step down You there. haven't provided any legitimacy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no bond, no office. Ma'am, I'm trying to We do not consent. Do you have a bond? Do you have a bond? Do you have insurance? Ma'am, if you want to talk to or talk to her. If not, I'm going to put you your, in the custody and you're going to go with me. Okay? Who's your insurance? All right, you need to turn around. Hold on. Come on, you need Hold to turn on. around. No. Ma'am, stop, stop. No. You need to, you Rourke, need to turn around and put you your hands behind your there. back. Rourke, let me let talk to my mother. Well, then talk. Quit, quit trying to argue with me and talk to her. I said you could. Okay? No. But you need you to step need down to here. I'm not going to step down there. No, no, you're under arrest. Hey, Don't touch me. You are under arrest. You have no You are under arrest. Geneva! No bond, no office. Stop, you are under arrest. Stop, Rourke, stop. Don't, don't get the additional charges, please. I, it's I not additional yes, charges. It let you me are, talk to my mother. Yes. Brittany, come up here, please. Hey. Let me talk to my mother. Okay, I, I, said, I said you could talk to your mother, but you, told, you kept telling me to step down. Grab this arm, please. You let are me okay. unlawfully, you are, and you are... Ma'am, you are, are, ma'am stop. Let please. Me. Please. Please. Set it down. Set the camera down, please. There, you can put her on, on us and everything, okay? Yeah, there's a knife right here. Yeah, take care of that. Let go. Yeah, please. No bond, no please. office. No right. bond, no office. I do not consent to this. I know you don't. You do not have a problem. Get off. Right? There's no warrant, no arrest. Get off of me. Let go of her. Get off. Now. No Rourke. bond, no office. Why are you doing this? Stop. Get off of 
Nick. Just let her go. You I'm not going to let her go. She has a warrant for her arrest. I, show me the warrant. Yes. I, you show me you the warrant. I'm going to put you on the ground if you do not stop. Show me and if the you do that, warrant. you'll have serious consequences. I am not trying to cause. She's causing all these problems. Hey, you're here like, unlawfully, what? unlawfully Ugh. detaining my wife. Brooke, show Brooke, me manhandling her. Not Show me the warrant. The I showed you the warrant. Her name is Janine. I want to see a signed warrant. Now. With a sworn affidavit. Hey, Jeff, can you come witness this? You don't have a signed warrant with a sworn affidavit in support by a sign by a judge. Barely. She's disabled. Yeah, she can walk. She can walk. She can. Geneva! Here we go. You guys are committing fraud, extortion. This is kidnapping. Now that I think about it, judging by the state of their house, a jail cell is probably more comfortable. Whatever the reason, these two love getting arrested, and we love watching it. Let's look at another one. You were uh, you were asked to uh, asked by the judge to have you detained here at this point for recording in the courtroom without permission. So, um, is this not a public a public establishment? It's not a public building. I don't. I'm not gonna. I, well, under I Oregon Revised Statutes, I have the right, I right to record any public official on any public lands. But inside a courtroom is a different story. Well, it doesn't my say understanding. that. It doesn't say that, though. Well, the there's, there's got to be a statute for that, but if the judge is asking uh, us to yeah. detain... No, I'm not taking that, Ed. Um, if, uh, if, I'm being, uh, if I'm being asked by a judge to detain you or arrest you for some reason, I have to go by his word on it, okay? So, so what, what, law, what law am I violating, though? It, there was the a law. recording recording in the courtroom. I don't know what the law is exactly. I don't know what the actual ORS is. I can't tell you. The judge is saying he wanted you arrested for a recording in the courtroom because you were not allowed to do that. It is unlawful to record in the courtroom. They never told me that, though. So, None of them told me. I've recorded in every single court hearing that I've ever uh, been So through. are you going to go get the warrant? No, I no, no, no. No, I, there's no warrant. It didn't just come out as a warrant. He just said he wanted him arrested. So, well, that's what in order for so me to be arrested, is, you need a warrant well, to arrest me. Well, no, and no, so no, what law? Don't. What law is it? Are you going to get that for us? What are you trying to say that you're arresting him for what? I don't have to. I don't have to answer to you. You can go sit in the car. You're free to go. Okay. This is only between uh, Chris and. Chris we were and. we were recording yeah. per uh, law. Ed's and request no, no. for his hearing yeah, as a witness. That. Apparently, that's against the law. No, so. it's against the. Um, no, that's not against the law. There's a difference I, of I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue with you about the. You know I'm not going to argue with you about the law. Five, Title Five. I, 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 US Ed, two, you're free to go. Please two, six, leave. Oh, oh, Ed, nine, you need three, to leave. Three, three, Ed, one. you need to leave the property. Well, I'd, I'd okay, like you to need to leave the property. You're free to go. This is not between you, me, or anything else. Judge Branford wanted him arrested. Branford. Yeah, that was. Yeah, Branford. He wanted. He was no judge. He wanted him arrested. That was a judge in there, right? Correct. That was a Branford. That wasn't Judge Branford. That was not Judge Pranford that in that room. That was not Judge Pranford. He's an Pranford. appointed judge. He's a retired appointed judge filling in for Sanders. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't Judge Pranford. I just was asking. He's trying to arrest me for recording. Hold on, he just might be detaining you. I don't know what that means, so. Yeah, but you're just passing out all Well, I'm passing out lawful information. No, you know, you've already got it received. Stay tuned to my channel. I'll be making a video soon about that homeless looking guy in this video. He likes getting arrested too. I'm being detained for recording. You've already had. Do not put that back in my vehicle, or so help me, you will be arrested for trespass. You are free to go. Get off the property. Period. Well, we're Goodbye. leaving. Ed, you can go. You're go. go. You're good. You guys can go. Go ahead. Thank you. You guys can go. I'll move my vehicle, and you can back out. You're free to go. You're being detained. Wait for They're what? You're really detaining for me. What? Yes, we are. For what? Yes, for recording. Wait, let me just no, 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 back up, back up, back up. Please You're, do not if, interfere if with the investigation. If you interfere, with this, you if you you interfere with this in any way, you'll go to jail. Period. Please get in your car. You guys are free to go. Mr. Jones, uh, please. Well, well, we can't do anything, so just do what you're doing, and then we'll go pick him up. I'd like a copy of your oath and bond. Yes. What crime is he yeah, being accused well, of committing? Discussed, I've already discussed that with him. But, he but, wants him arrested I, and we go by the judge's order. Where, where's the order? Where's the yeah. warrant? You don't need where's, a warrant. Yes, you yes, do, by law and, an and by administrative rule. Christopher Roberts and the family of Walker. Okay, there you go. I'll, I'll you move my vehicle. You guys are free to go. Okay. Tell me what to do.
tell me what to do. Please don't. I, I just need to, I, he's my husband. I need to know what to do. Like, what do we do? Like, what's going to happen right now? Am I going to go to jail and actually yeah. be in jail? After I go get all the statements from everybody. I just. You need to leave, or, or you'll be trespassed from the, from the parking lot. Please, please get in your vehicle and take off. Okay. Thank you. So you're gonna get all my money and stuff out of my pockets. Yeah. like it's worth property. You can go sit in the car. We'll get his property as well for his filings. Do you have ID on you? No. Nothing on you? Nope. No ID. Just money in my pockets. Which is where? Just my back pocket. You gonna grab the money for him? Both back pockets. That's Ed's money. So, um, is this like a is this like a book and release type thing? Don't know. And then cigarettes in my pocket. You have a cigarette? I think they're in my coat pocket. Can I oh. could get your name real quick. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. Laura. Laura? What's your last name? Is there anything in this one, Chris? I'm not sure. A family of a uh, weaver. Huh? Family of weaver. So, okay. Laura. It's you're free to go. He, he's, he's free to go. You're, you don't have why to are you touching me? He's, he's asking, asking me questions. questions. I understand that. You're free to go. I'll give him your information. What is going on? They're taking my husband, Ed. Well, there you have it. These people have tons of videos on their channel, and I haven't had time to look at all of them, so I'll probably be making a part two to this if I find more videos of them getting arrested. If you enjoyed this and want to see more stupid, please like and subscribe.